check out how wide this staircase is here. This is, uh, I feel like from the movie Big where they do the whole piano scene. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> What's up, it's your boy Josh Altman and Matt Stomberg of the Altman Brothers. And we got a very special property for you today. 1254 Roberto Lane that's actually won an LABC architectural award. There's over 150 people who entered their projects this year. So for us to take home the cake, let you know this is quite a special <laughs> house. That's it, proof is in the pudding. Yeah, and I remember when we walked in here when we first got the listing and uh, I was blown away. This is yeah. one of those houses that were an oh my God house. We're gonna show it to you right now. Are you ready? Let's do this. All right, let's go. This is a 7,500 square foot house, about four beds five baths, depending on the layout. We just hit the market and you have two options. You can lease the house for $50,000 a month or of course you can buy it. All right guys, so let's get into the layout of this house. We've got a split level design with 16 foot cantilevered kitchen and dining room area, which is unbelievable. I mean, state of the art architecture here. Down below, you're gonna have all your guest bedrooms. So three bedrooms downstairs and up top is gonna be the full primary bedroom suite. This is the first room that you walk in. There's something trippy in this room, which is the light above here. I mean, the light fixture itself, it looks as though you've got a recessed floating light, yeah. but essentially this is all wrapped around. In addition, we've got floor to ceiling, Belgian glass, and these are all motorized doors. So with this house, one thing that the architect wanted to make sure of was that it was very easy to live in. So everything's push a button, the whole wall is gonna slide open. You've got seamless inside, outside living. It's really a treat. There also has been, believe it or not, we're talking about a futuristic house. There's a lot of futuristic things in here, right? So a lot of 3D printed uh, uh, materials and finishes as well that have been thought out on the computer and have come to life. So we're gonna show you that in a little bit. Check out how wide this staircase is here. This is, uh, I feel like from the movie Big where they do the whole piano scene. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 All right, so let's get into the kitchen. So to touch on the 3D engineering and 3D printed stuff, we actually have CNC milled fixtures, right? So throughout the house, you're gonna have piece unique fixtures, both in your kitchen and light fixtures everywhere, right? Why did this take so many decades of building houses to do things like that? It's just that plug that you're always looking for where you want to plug in your phone or your computer. So while we're touching on these things, you know, another outlet that makes the ease of living in this house so simple. Let's also touch on the fact you've got Doka cabinetry, Decton doors, and then I also want to talk about the recessed walnut. It's such a simple detail, but it's something that brings a lot of warmth to a kitchen when you're dealing with a lot of creams and whites. But I also love this double island. Yeah. When you got kids like me, the double island is a must. To touch on Josh's comment about the 3D printing, I want to point out, so this fixture here is actually CNC milled, and you're going to find this throughout the entire house. Essentially, it's piece unique. It's a digital design that they come in and they make you basically a one of one item for every single spot in your home. Of course, we have the Melee appliances here that are nice and hidden. We even have the matching white uh, stove throughout. We got the disappearing refrigerator over here. So a couple different things are the kind of perfect finishing touches of a house. Number one, landscaping, right? So we see all the time, we see developers that go and they build a house and of course they're towards the end and you know, there's not that much money laying around towards the end so you just kind of put stuff together and they always forget the landscaping. That's number one. Number two, always go above and beyond when it comes to lighting. Check out this light above the dining room table over here. I love this with the leather on the outside it's nice, it's not too bright, but it really lightens it up. Something like this, of course, is gonna be pretty pricey, which we know, but when you have a house like this, you gotta go above and beyond when it comes to that. As you can see behind, you got that beautiful pool. If you have an opportunity to get any type of doors that are sliding doors, always pay the extra money 
to go up as high as possible because then it feels more open. And let me tell you, you will always make that money back. Again, to touch on Josh and the landscaping, landscaping throughout thick hedges, no one's looking in, you're only looking out, ocean view there, makes for an easy, nice Sunday with the family. This is how thick, it's very thin door, but the glass is very thick and there's twice as much. So when this door closes, uh, you don't hear anything. And uh, let's check it out. You hear how quiet that is? It's so nice. And again, it's just the push of a button. I like the floor in here too. What's nice is the mix of the walnut wood with the uh, brush concrete floor. I like this because you can't really damage it, which is nice. High heels, stilettos with the walnut stairs. And this goes throughout the house. You have beautiful lighting underneath. It's super dramatic at night. Come check this out. Look at this. This is a seamless glass elevator. Look down there. Look at this. I love when this brings me back to being a kid with like erector sets and stuff like that. You can see the inner workings of the elevator. So here, come check this out. We got the elevator, it goes to all three floors. Now we are on the top floor, which is all the primary suite, which is really nice. I like yes. that about this house. And of course you got the rooftop deck, which you will see afterwards, but here we are. Leading in, we've got extremely spacious primary suite with around 270 degree views. You've got the Getty to oh, my right. You don't just got the Getty, come here. Nothing is obstructing the perfect view. So you have a straight shot to the Getty right there. That's the entire Getty and behind it, of course, is the Pacific Ocean. That is like an epic shot of what people think about when they look at LA. And you have the other side over there. Matt, show them, show them the snow-capped mountains in the back there that are just starting to get snow. So you're gonna get, the best thing about it, if you're an early riser like myself, like Josh, like anyone in this industry, in this bed every morning, you got sunrise coming right up over the mountains. Amazing unobstructed views. These closets are great. Just in case you own more than three button white shirts, uh, you do have to be, you know, you gotta be clean if you have this closet. We've also got graph luxury light fixtures that have been installed. So again, just every little detail throughout the house, you're gonna find a little hint of luxury, which is quite nice to have. I dig this, yeah. I dig this, yeah. I want you to comment on this. The bed in the middle of the bedroom, are you a bed in the middle of the bedroom guy? The beauty of this bedroom and the setup is that you could go several different ways, right? You could have the bed against your wall here. Yeah. You could have a standalone TV. Again, you'd be getting sunset this way. So the fact that you have this great view lets you have that flexibility. Comment below. Are you a bed in the middle of the room type of person? Check this bathroom out. How cool is that? You've got CNC mill grating over your sink. What a cool twist on just a typical bathroom. And look at how thin the actual sinks are. Are you kidding me? Again, the fact that this is just floating above is, is unbelievable. Ah, there you go. So you have ambient lighting throughout, which is beautiful. And then this is the shower. So in the shower here, you even have the stone on the uh, on the hardware, which I love, which matches the floor. Now you're on a little bit, of course, of a uh, of an incline here, so the rainwater comes down and goes straight back there. Some people want to put a piece of glass, which you can do easily as well. Uh, it just depends what your vibe is. Let's go check outside. Come on. Oh, you see this baby. Movie. Look at that straight shot to the Santa Monica Mountains over there. At nighttime, again, you're gonna have the whole city glimmering in the background of your view, which is just gonna create a whole other kind of ambient vibe as well to match the lights. Wanna go to the roof? Please, please, no, after, after you. You don't win architectural awards for just building any house. In a rooftop deck, this is exactly what you want. As you see, sun's peeling through right now. It's bright, you can tan, you can entertain. But now we are gonna head downstairs to find the other entertainment space in the house. Let's go check it out. Are you kidding me? How insane is this? This is the epitome of state-of-the-art architecture. Look at this concrete black walls over here mixed with the walnut floors. Actually, they did a great job staging this house, real minimal, but this is the entertainment level here at 1254 Roberta Lane. This is where the magic happens. The cool thing about this as well is the layout of the lot. So even though we're technically in this basement area, 
because we're on the corner, we're actually still on the first level here as well. You know, the worst is when a basement feels like yeah. a basement. You got the tree in the middle where typically this would just be, you know, a safety vent or something. They actually made it a nice piece of art. You got the elevated fireplace. Let's go see the movie theater. Boom, look at this. The finished fabric here of both the walls and the floor is amazing. It's really good for sound. Let's go see more of the house. So right off the movie theater and opened into your downstairs area, we've got this amazing bar. Same themes, you've got the walnut in the cabinetry, marble on top, beautiful recessed lighting black unfinished concrete. It works perfectly. Uh, this is the bottom of the uh, seamless glass elevator. They had fun with it. Now I've seen different things in the bottom of elevators. Instead of seeing just a bad, messy concrete, they put river rock, black river rock there. Uh, I've seen other things like fake plants, but that probably is my favorite because it's just nice and clean. One of the nicer things about the house as well is that anytime you have a guest, no one's gonna feel like they got the bad guest bedroom. All three of your guest suites are phenomenal, right? And so everyone's gonna feel pretty good regardless of what room they get. And coming from a younger brother, yeah, that's it's way better when everybody gets a good room because otherwise the younger brother always gets the bad room. Yeah. And you are one of how many children? One of seven. So someone always got, you know, that was the thing growing up. No one could get a Coca-Cola unless everyone got a Coca-Cola. So when you had to buy seven Coca-Colas, no one got Coca-Cola. <laughs> This is an example of one of the bedrooms. Beautiful bathroom, and then you have the glass closet, which really acts as a divider to the bathroom, which is cool. Again, it's living in art. And again, we have floor to ceiling windows here, all mechanized, push of a button, these things pop right open. This is really cool to have that garden out there. And look, you wanna customize it, you own the house, you wanna make it turf, you wanna make it a putt-putt, uh, you wanna make it concrete, a little basketball court, whatever you wanna do, you have options. Thanks for hanging with us, guys. We're at 1254 Roberto Lane, four bed, five bath, 7,500 square feet in prime time Upper Bel Air. That's right, it is available for lease, it is available for sale. If you wanna buy or sell any property, Call the Altman brother. Let's, Let's go! go!